Yum, yum. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling the Plasticity logo in Plasticity. Start by creating a rectangle curve, followed by a circle curve. Add these two line curves to close off the shape of the P. Select all the faces and use the keyboard shortcut Shift D to duplicate and produce a cleaner curve. Revolve the face with a degree value of negative 90. Add fillets to all edges. Rotate the logo into place and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a Celtic knot in plasticity. Start by creating a triangle using the regular polygon tool. Next, use the two point circle tool to create three circles that snap to each side of the triangle. Then use the trim tool to remove all these segments. Select the remaining edges. Press O, then tab to use offset with lock distances. Select the faces that make up the Celtic knot. Extrude them to make a solid. Add fillets to all edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a linear wedge inset in Plasticity. Select the face you'd like to inset, activate the rotate tool, use the keyboard shortcut V for pivot, place the handles on the edge you'd like to rotate from, then rotate to create the wedge inset. Next, select this face and use the scale tool to flatten it and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a tapered chamfer in Plasticity. When creating a fillet, you have the ability to add a variable point to taper the fillet. To achieve a similar result on a chamfer, select the edges you'd like to work with, press P for the pipe tool, increase the section size, change the vertex count to 4, enable the scale attribute and adjust to your liking, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a wedge inset in Plasticity. Select the face you'd like to inset, activate the rotate tool, use the keyboard shortcut V for pivot, place the handles on the edge you'd like to rotate from, then rotate to create the wedge inset, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating an umbrella canopy in Plasticity. Start by creating a single profile curve, radial array it with a count of 8, create another curve that connects the two ends of the curves, select these three curves and press Shift J to create a sheet, select the sheet and radial array it with a count of 8, press J to join all sheets, hide the curves, add fillets to the edges, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating the CBS logo in Plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve at the origin. Create a larger circle. Duplicate the larger circle and move it up. Duplicate again and move it down. Select these five faces, then simply extrude them to make a solid, and you're all set. Oh. Floyd here with a quick look at creating the Twitter logo and plasticity. Start by using the two-point circle tool to create multiple circle curves that match the arcs that make up the logo. Next, select all of the faces that make up the logo. Be sure to zoom in and ensure that the smaller faces are included in the selection. Then simply extrude the faces to make a solid, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a chess rook in plasticity. Start by creating this basic profile with the line tool. Select these two points, press B and round them off with fillets. Use the revolve tool to create a solid. Use the delete redundant topology command to clean up the mesh. Select the top face and offset it. Then select the center face and push it down to create a cavity. Create a new rectangle solid and intersect it with the main solid. Radial array it with the count of eight. Then subtract the new solids from the main solid with a Boolean difference. Add fillets to all edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a flat infinity symbol in plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve. Mirror it to create another circle. Use the bridge curve tool to create a new curve and press Q to disable the trim attribute. Mirror the new curve, use the trim tool to delete these two segments, then select all curves, press O for offset, followed by the tab key to enable lock distances, and generate offset curves. Select these faces and extrude them. Add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Start with the two-point line curve, and the curve you want the tube to travel along. Select the line curve, activate the sweep command, then select the curve as the sweep guide. Increase the twist attribute to a high value to create a spiral. Commit to generate a sheet. Select an edge on the sheet and press Shift D to duplicate it. Select the duplicated curve and press P for the pipe tool. Increase the section size to your liking and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a keyboard key in plasticity. Start by creating a rectangle curve. Press B to fill at the corner points. Extrude and taper the face to create a solid. Fill at the top edge loop. Select the top face and press Shift S twice to use the raise degree command. Select the center control points and move them down. Select the top face again and use the toggle points command to hide the points. And your key is good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple solid. 
Start by creating two circle curves using the center circle tool. Use the tangent arc tool to create an arc that connects the circle and press D to flip the direction of the arc. Use the line tool to close off the shape, then add fillets to the two lower control points. Extrude these faces, hide all the curves, select the solid, press Ctrl 2 to select all edges, add fillets, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating a rectangle curve, followed by a circle curve. Use the line tool to add these two curves. Select this face and extrude it. Then use the keyboard shortcut Control R to activate the isoparam tool and cut this new edge in. Next, extrude this face and add a fillet to this edge. Use the corner box tool to union this cube onto the part. Then use the cylinder tool to subtract from the part. Next, use the line tool to create this triangle face. Extrude it, shift select the main part so that both solids are selected and press QQ to Boolean union the solids together. Hide all the curves, select the solid, press Ctrl 2 to select all edges, add fillets and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating this shape using the line tool, extrude it, then use the isoparam tool to add this edge. Mirror the solid using Alt X. Then use the keyboard shortcut Q to union the two solids before dropping the tool. Offset this face, then create a rectangle curve. Use the center point arc curve tool to create an arc at one end and mirror it to the other end. Extrude the new faces to create a solid. Then subtract the new solid from the main solid using Boolean difference. Select the inner faces by Alt left clicking on one of the faces. Then use the keyboard shortcut Alt D for the alternate duplicate command. Move and rotate the new solid to the top face and perform another Boolean to create a hole. Add fillets to these corner edges. Select the solid. Press Ctrl 2 to select all edges. Add fillets and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a square curve. Then use the center point arc tool to round off the top. Remove the center edge using the trim tool. Then select all of the curves and press O to offset them. Create a circle curve, then offset it to create an inner curve. Add this line and trim away the lower curves. Add another line along the bottom and another circle curve. Select all faces and extrude them to create a solid. Extrude this lower face and union it to the main solid. Extrude these faces and subtract them from the main solid. Hide all curves, add fillets to these edges, then add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a square curve, then use the center point arc tool to round off the side. Extrude the faces to make a solid, offset the top face, use the isoparam tool to cut in these new edges, then select and delete these three edges. Next, select the top face, and use the unjoin command to create a separate sheet. Rotate the sheet with the rotation pivot placed on this edge. Select these two arc edges and press L to loft them. Select all the sheets and press J to join them. Use the patch command to create a solid. Use the isoparam tool to cut in a new edge down the center of this face. Then use the cylinder tool to subtract a hole from the solid. Add fillets to all edges and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating four circle curves using the center circle tool. Create a diagonal line like so and mirror it. Use the trim tool to remove these two segments. Round off one end of this shape using the center point arc tool, then mirror the new arc curve. Next, use the trim tool to remove these two segments. Select these curves and radial array them with the number attribute set to three. Extrude this face to make it a solid. Press O to offset the top face, then offset this face, hide all curves, then add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a circle curve using the center circle tool. Press O to offset the curve two times. Create a line and then radial array it with a count of eight. Use the control point curve tool to create a curve like this, then radial array it with a count of eight. Select all faces, deselect these faces, then extrude the selected faces to create a solid. Select the top face and offset it, then offset this face. Next, select this border face, press Ctrl 2 to select the edges, add fillets to the edges, and you're all set.
Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a circle curve using the center circle tool. Press O and offset the circle four times. Create another circle centered on the border circle curve, then radial array it with a count of three. Add a new line curve here, mirror it, then radial array it with a count of three. Select these faces and extrude them to make a solid. Then select these faces, extrude them and hold control to snap to the lower edge of the first solid. Select these three faces, extrude them down, and subtract them from the first solid. Hide all of the curves, offset these three faces, then select this top face, press O, and offset it. Offset this ring face, then this inner face, Boolean union all four solids, then select the solid, press Control 2 to select all the edges, add fillets to the edges, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating these two line curves using the line tool. Then create this curve with the center point arc tool. Select and join all curves. Extrude the curve to create a sheet. Add a fillet to this edge. Then thicken the sheet to create a solid. Add a fillet to these two edges with the shape set to full. Subtract a hole from the solid with the cylinder tool. Then select all edges. Add fillets to the edges. And you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating this basic shape using the line tool. Extrude the face to create a solid. Subtract this notch from the solid with the box tool using the center option. Then subtract this hole from the solid with the cylinder tool. Add fillets to these two edges. Move these two edges to create a slope. Then select all edges. Add fillets to the edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating these two line curves using the line tool. Then create this curve using the three point arc tool. Select and join all curves. Extrude the curve to create a sheet. Mirror the sheet and press Q to union the sheets. Use the thicken tool to create a solid from the sheet. Add fillets to these edges. Use the cylinder tool to create a hole in the solid. Then select the inner face of the hole. Use the alternate duplicate command. Mirror the new solid. Delete this solid. Then create another hole using Boolean subtract. Create a circle curve, then a rectangle curve. Extrude these faces to make a solid, then subtract it from the main solid using Boolean subtract. Create one more hole with the cylinder tool. Add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating this shape using the line tool. Extrude the face to create a solid. Add a fillet to this edge. Then use the cylinder tool to create a hole in the solid. Mirror the solid and press Q to union before committing. Use the cylinder tool again to cut out this notch. Then union a cylinder on top. Press O to offset this face. Push it down. Offset it again then push it all the way through the solid to create a hole. Select this ring face and use the draft tool to taper the hole. Cut another hole in the solid using the cylinder tool. Add fillets to all edges and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a circle curve using the center circle tool. Create a smaller circle connected to the larger circle using the two point circle tool. Then create a line along the bottom and one through the center. Next, use the trim tool to remove these segments. Join these three curves. Then extrude and thicken the curve into a solid. Hide the main curve. Then use the cylinder tool to create a hole here. Fill up these two edges with the shape set to full. Then use the cylinder tool with Boolean difference to create a notch here. And use the same process to add a hole here. Create a box solid and use it with Boolean difference to cut the solid again. Mirror the solid, add fillets to all edges, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a circle curve using the center circle tool, then create a smaller circle in the center of the circle. Next, create a rectangle curve and radial array it with a count of three. Use the trim tool to remove all these segments, then extrude these faces to create a solid. Extrude this face and Boolean union it to the main solid. Hide the curves, move the back side of the solid to the origin, then mirror the solid to create a symmetrical mesh. Add fillets to all edges, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a cylinder solid, then draw a circle curve, 
Use the tangent arc tool to create a curve off the circle. Mirror the curve, then use the trim tool to remove this segment. Next, join the three curves. Press C to activate cut. Select the solid, then delete the two side solids. Create a new cylinder solid and use it to create a hole in the main solid with a Boolean difference operation. Offset the top face, then push the center face through the solid. Add fillets to all edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's create this simple part. Start by creating a cylinder solid. Add a fillet to the top edge to round it off. Create a new cylinder solid. Rotate and move it so it intersects with the main solid. Radial array it to create duplicates. Select the main solid followed by the other solids. Perform a Boolean difference operation. Add fillets to all edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating the Volkswagen logo in plasticity. Start by using the keyboard shortcut Shift C and create two circle curves using the center circle tool. Use the keyboard shortcut Shift A and create all the diagonal lines that make up the left side of the logo. Next, select all the diagonal line curves and use the keyboard shortcut Alt X to mirror them. Create the final two line curves, select the faces that make up the logo and extrude them to create a solid. Hide the template curves in the reference image Select the solid, then use the keyboard shortcut Control 2 to select all edges. Add fillets, and you're all set. Oh, look at the time. Meow. Yum, yum!